Uh, uh, shit. Oh, hey. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. I just wanted hey. to check Come what was on, on there. That was a bad Please. idea. That was a bad idea. Uh, oh. oh, right. But what are you doing here? I thought you couldn't come in without a warrant. I can't. Some gonks just ask to be flatlined sometimes. Yeah. Right. What was that, V? Okay. You asked me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. Think you could be right. I think I could be an idiot. I should have bloody well thought of that before plugging in. I thought it was just going to show us, like, some hint or clue. Oh, should have thought of that. <sighs> yeah. Little embarrassing. Are we going to get the hell out of here? No, we got to look for the office. All right, okay, okay. You? You probably should not be here. Oh, we gotta get back up. Okay. Well, at least we know what killed him now, yeah? Okay, this looks a bit like a server room. And... we got intimate! Someone is still here. And... Alright. Didn't really help, did it? Nope. Don't have the technical ability for that. Right. So. Oh, could it be... At the bottom? I didn't actually check back there, did I? I don't think. Did I check back here? No. I guess I did. Okay, this is like a little canteen thing. Yep, a disgustingly dirty canteen. The animals are absolutely living up to their name here. And no, wait a minute. There was there was something else through there. But isn't that the stairway up where I was basically beating the snot out of everybody? I think so. If, if Mr. Intimate could perhaps get a little bit more instruct... Never mind. Looks like an office. I think I found sort of. it. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yeah, I probably should have found that straight away, shouldn't I? Um, all right. Bubble gum. Excellent. Everyone needs a little bubble gum. Let's check. Local network. We've got a surveillance system with a lot of cameras, and you know what? Let's just turn the entire thing off. Files. Reco we've got a recording. I'll take that in a second. Security protocol. The club's getting more popular. We're getting more and more VIPs. Goes without saying, that's a good thing, but it doesn't mean we can let our guard down. Just yesterday, an unidentified person managed to break into the club and spent upwards of 20 minutes inside before anyone noticed. Unacceptable. Let me reiterate. Don't talk about the club. No invitation, no entry. Report any suspicious persons to security. Don't talk about the club. And again, don't talk about the club. Think we're getting it. Mutual friend, today's visit. Well, from Weldon Holt. Francis Delgato. Our friend wants to visit the club tonight. He's a bit shaken after today's incident, so please don't disturb him. We'd like a private room, something cosy and intimate. So Holt did set this up, but then he was asked to. Sure thing. Important. Read now. Francis Delgato to Holt. Um, well done. Craps. Messed up. Six ways to Sunday. But Ryan might be dead. I mean, pretty sure he's definitely dead. He came here, went straight to his booth. Nobody beside him, swear to God. But after five hours, I was like, what the hell? Usually only stays for two. So I go in to look and damn me, the guy's flatlined. The hell am I supposed to do now? From Weldon. Do nothing. Wait for my people. Until then, nobody goes in the club. 
Get the customers, get the staff out of there. Trap shut all of them. Tell them it's a gas leak, pest control, bomb threat, whatever. We gotta close down early. This is to get our security. Already sent the guests home. Rest of the staff will be out soon. I'm waiting for a few people at the moment. But one thing, when they come, send them right to me downstairs, then go straight home. Let the garage know they got the day off tomorrow, all of them. Be in touch when the situation clears up. Sit tight for now. From Queen Hyena to Weldon Holt. Where is it? Scratch, where is it? Holt, we got the file you wanted, smashed up the rest, couldn't smash it more if we tried. Where's the eddies? Peeps started to mumble. We couldn't get more from someone else. Oh, we could have got more from someone else, much more. So there's, so where's the scratch, Holt? All right, let's get this recording. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Oh. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Oh, that's... Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. Dignified. No yeah. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Right. Yeah, very dignified. Was that it? That's over? Can I take the recording? Oh, it's now muted. All right. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. Was that your partner? I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. I mean, I thought it looked a bit like him, but like... <sighs> now you know what? Pretty sure I got everything I need. Let's... Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. Yeah. Me too. We're back at Chubby Buffaloes. Ah. Your partner. Fuck. Yeah. Still hanging around with this punk? Shot it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. You think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Uh, psh, uh, no, I don't. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. I did. I mean, you're right, family comes first, but like... I... V. Appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be, but it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. I have a feeling that's not your plan. Fuck.
I mean, he's right, family's family, but I walked away from my family because they were getting in bed with the wrong people, so what are you going to do? He's sort of right. Should have shot him. So, what now? Well, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. Oldest, tritest motive in the book. Maybe. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Maybe. Sounds about right. No. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying we don't know for sure you're right. Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Got a BD that somebody spiked. Just got to figure out who. Right. That, it's I the who. I can do. Taking this time. to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Go ahead, don't do it. You're gonna do it whatever I say, and to be honest, I would. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay, observe a little. Thanks, V. Yeah. Good luck. Hope you get this figured out. I like him. Shame he's having a crappy day too. Seems everyone I meet ends up having a crappy day. Maybe it's me. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. All right. Waiting. Where exactly? Oh. Okay. Go to. But ah, find a way into Red Queen's race. I'm still tracking that for some odd reason. All right. These guys are. Oh, they are in. Yeah, I remember that district. It's quite nice. I can check in the Ripper dock while I'm there. Maybe even check the clothing, you know. Still, I have hopes that one day I will find a decent leather jacket. Probably because I'm hopelessly optimistic or utterly ridiculously foolish. Probably both. Talking of optimistic and ridiculously foolish. I kind of like River. I really do. He's... I don't know. Stand-up guy. Probably got the survival chances of a fart in a tornado, but hey. Okay. Judy. Check this out. All right, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. Hello from Breezy, Oregon. Oregon? So is this the key to the meaning of life, the beach? Visit your grams. Yeah, are you visiting your grams and grams? All right, okay. Yeah, showed up on the, their doorstep a few days ago. Don't know if they're... A few days ago? I only left you yesterday. How long was I on that stakeout with River? Good grief. Okay, I uh, don't know if they were happy or confused. Pretty nice being with family, good people, good food, zero BS. How's life in NC? Hanging in there. Could be better, could be worse. No, no, peachy. Absolutely peachy. It's raining. You'll figure it out, V. You always do. Gotta go. The elders are summoning me. Okay. All right, she sounds, she sounds okay. I think it's this way. Is it this way? She sounds okay. All right, have I gone the wrong way? No, 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 no. There's the, there's the, there's the clothes shop. You can visit there later. It's right. She did, she sounded, well, sounded. She read a little more relaxed, didn't she? Okay. And a nice parking spot too. Excellent. 
definitely the posh part of town. Thanks. Re Pepe. Thanks again. Maybe I don't know everything about Cynthia, but I know she loves me. Sod everything else, right? Right, definitely, definitely, right. Okay. Well, there's two happy people. The next level of corporate wear luxury. All right, okay, if you say so. All right. Yeah. Well, it's nice that I've managed to help a couple of people. Just going to tell you one thing. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Probably going to be more than one. But all right. Don't tell them nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. Yeah, I'm always careful. They won't pay me if I don't. Uh, I'm always... Chill on the drama. My role in this ends here. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Look, dude, I'm gonna do your, your, your thing straight Hello, after this. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Okay. Nice place. Nice place. Okay. It's a little intimidating when you have that camera like that. Gosh, you've got cameras everywhere. That would... Do you play? Whoa. This is... Please, have a seat. All right, I shall... Thank you. Good to see you, V. Yeah, Johnny might be right. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. I uh, should got a decent picture. Can't draw any real... Got a decent picture of what went down? We don't... Uh, can't draw any real conclusions at the moment now. case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. Exactly. So we were right? Yes. And that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Mm. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Okay. That wasn't ex... Yeah, let's watch out for each other. No, no, let's not get too personal. Okay. Glad I could help. Yeah. Should I have told them a little bit more? It's a lot of eddies. Okay. Um, hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Are you going to show me out? Or are you just going to let me see Please. myself out? Okay. All right. Right. We'll return to this later. Well, I mean, they, they, they realized that he didn't die in his... Okay. I sort of feel like I should have told him a little bit more. I do. I feel like I should have told them a little bit more than that. I want to say I can't make any conclusions, but he did die from the... I mean, the other option was... I have a pretty clear picture, and I really... I only have a picture of how he died, but not who, what... Well, who and why. And I have a feeling that's... More or less what they wanted. All right, Johnny. I've got one last thing to do. I want to go and visit Regina and pick up the payment for the cyber psycho job and, you know, get a little closure on that. And then I'm going to phone Nancy again and get that concert organized for you. I feel like I've made sure all of my friends are going to be okay. Probably time to do the same for you, so we can focus on more important business, yeah? Oh, Should we... Should we have checked in on Rogue? You know what? Maybe, maybe we should also check in on Rogue as well. 
make sure she's okay. Last time we saw her, she was not particularly happy. Yeah, we'll visit Rogue, and then we will phone Nancy again. She's not got back in touch with me. Okay, that was close. So we'll try the other number. I tell you what, since using this car, I have put down a lot of rubber on the asphalt in this city. It really does like to leave its mark. Okay. Um, yeah. I think tomorrow I'm switching back to the bike. I do love this. I feel it's me. I feel it's me, I really do, but do you know what else is me? Missing the door I'm supposed to be going through. Um, what else is me is needing to get places an awful lot faster. Okay. I wonder if she's gonna find any useful information. I can't imagine she's gonna cure cyber psychosis because I'm not convinced that it's a problem with the cyberware. I mean, the cyberware probably adds to it. But all of them seem to have issues to start with, didn't they? Hi. Um, yes. Just that Tell I'm me something. truly floored by your dedication. You didn't kill a single cyber psycho. I know how much easier and simpler it can be to take a life rather than save one. Really, V, nice work. Some of the cyber Thank psychotic you. have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll well. learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. Okay. Well. Thank you very much. It was it was a pleasure. And you're right. I'm pretty sure it isn't cyberware overload. I mean, most of them had major issues to start with. Like me, for example. If I ever turn into a cyber psycho, it will be with some note left on my body saying, "Oh my God, the doors and things." Okay, let's just dump some stuff. And actually, you know. I've not slept in, I don't know, a while. Let's get a little sleep and have a shower. Question is, how much daylight do I have left? My sleep cycle is really messed up. Oh, it looks like we've got some left. Okay, 2 p.m. That's not too bad, actually. I've missed the morning, but still plenty of the afternoon left. We can get plenty done today. All right. And I'm going to start with a point in reflexes. I don't know what that means I've now got available in cyberware. I should probably check in a ripper dot when I pass one. I think I need 18 reflexes to be able to use everything that's dependent on reflexes, but I think I've got some stuff that requires like 15 and 16. For the perks, I'm pretty much done in body, and the same is true of cold blood. I, I'm still saving this perk one perk for immunity, just in case. Even though I sort of know I'm never going to get rid of that cyberware. There's a little side of me thinking, just take it, take it, take it, take it. You're always going to keep one perk just in case. Although there is an argument to, to be made that I always keep one perk available just in case I find some emergency that needs one. My biggest worry with immunity is that taking it will prevent the cyberware that I have that actually gives benefits when burning or when poisoned or when shocked. That I've got three pieces of cyberware that give me benefits. Does that neutralize them just by preventing that happening? Because if so, that's bad, you see. So, and there's not a lot else. I mean, there's this one that increases the movement speed while sneaking. I, I do occasionally sneak. It could be useful. I could become immune to poison, but again, doesn't seem 
too useful overall. I think I'm going to put the points into handguns. There's things like this, increased damage with pistols to enemies five meters away or more by 15%. I'm assuming it goes up to either 25 or 30. Usually when I'm shooting people, it's, it's at five meters or more distance. Although I do, I do have the option to close with the pistol as long as I'm using Johnny's handgun. That's a good weapon for, for closing, although that actually is something I need to consider. I think I'm just going to go with reduced reload. That is going to be... Okay, 10, 15, and 25, all right. That is going to be pretty useful. I mean, especially if I decide to switch to the Burria. And I still have not really made my mind up on that yet. The Malorian, the Malorian is nice. It's just not very much, well, I say it's not very much damage. It's not as much damage per shot as the Burria. And I do favor bigger damage. It punches through armor better. When, when you're against an armored opponent, you want something that does a lot of damage per shot. So either melee or a big damage um, weapon of some sort. However, the Malorian, I just, I find it a lot nicer when shooting from the hip or when running. So I find it a bit more versatile. I can sort of run, shoot, and then aim and actually shoot through cover because I have noticed it pierces cover quite nicely, actually. So I don't need the Burrier to be able to shoot through cover. I just... I do like that. I like it. Big question would be what mods to use on it. Things like increased damage mods are less, you know, beneficial on large damage weapons. So this one does 600, an extra five damage per shot is not that useful. These sort of mods are better on submachine guns, machine guns, I think. You want stuff that does percentage damage on this. I just don't know at the moment. I'm still, I'm just unsure all round. I will admit, I also love how I reload this. It's a bit flashy, and I know I should criticize myself for it and blame it on Johnny, because it's all his fault. But um, it does look cool. And I've still not made my mind up Carnage versus the uh, tech shotgun, but I'm going to stick with Carnage for now. Right, let's get dressed and then get out of here. Oh! One thing I want to do before I head out is actually check the garage. I noticed there are two cars down there that are for sale, and I've not inspected them to see them. You know what? Put your trousers on before you put your jacket on. There. I think that might be the first vehicle that was made available to me after the unfortunate accident with Delamain. I think that could be it. I never actually checked it out. And there were reasons I didn't check it out. Yeah. <laughs> right, there is an... There is another one very close by, but I think it's above here. Isn't it? I think it's above. I just don't know how to get to it. Oh, right! That is it. No, it's not. That! Okay, now that. That is more like it! Yes! That is very nice. Oh, I can afford it. Shion. Don't I already have a Shion? Yes, I've got the Shion. Oh. Wait. Is this another way in and out? As in, I can I can get to and from. I think it might be. I don't need more cars. I do not need more cars.
And if I get a new car, I'm going to have to learn how to drive a new car. I've only just got used to my latest car. Mind you, even then I'm not that used. Oh, I like that, I like that. I'm, I'm, I'm buying it, I'm buying it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's not scratch it. I need to find... Oh! Yes, very... Yes, well done. I knew you... I would... I knew I could tempt you. Enjoy it. Yeah. Previous chick who owned it, like, led foot the pedal, but the engine suspension breaks everything that matters. All that's been in prime condition. Rides like a pure dream. I will be the judge of that. Yes, I will. I... Does this go... Let's find out where this goes. And let's just drive... Whoa, that actually turns quite nicely. Uh... Okay, right. This is... Right, it's the it's the massive overpass over there. Right, okay. That is... That is interesting. That is useful. That is a quicker way in here if I'm coming from the city centre. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to go and visit Rogue. I am... Okay. Yep, yep, yep. This one's a bit slidey as well. It's not that dissimilar from my last car, but... Oh, it breaks a little sharper, maybe? How does it handbrake turn? Oh, God, come on, people. And how fast is it? This is crazy. Definitely crazy. Whoa! Uh, could you guys stay in your lane so I can drift into yours? Thank you very much. Uh... Okay. It definitely is faster. It's definitely faster. All right. I am so going the wrong way. Uh, how do I get back and visit Rogue? Because that's... Where is the afterlife? The afterlife was over there. So let's aim for that. Oh, we can actually turn off back there. What sort of turning circle have we got? It's not bad. All right. Come on. Come on. Show me what you can do. Can you get... 200. Are you as good as the coyote? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 153. That was my turn in. That was my turn in. That was my turn in. 163. 471. All right, I'm going to... Whoa, you know what? I'm going to... Oh, my God. All right, it's not... It's not quite as fast as the Coyote, and it doesn't handle as well as the Coyote. But it is, it's faster and it accelerates more than, um, I can't remember what it was called, my last car. Oh, I feel, I feel terrible now. You know, as though my car is going to know I forgot its name and sulk with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the handling on it. Once I get used to it, whoa. Okay, looks like Rogue is here. That, oh, no, that's not, that's not her car, is it? No. It is a nice car, though. I mean, that is a very nice car, actually. I'm, I mean, I'm, I like my new car. I do like my new car. I also like the fact that I parked as if there was an actual car parking space there. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Let's go and talk to Rogue. And see if she's feeling a little, um, better. Hello. Yeah, still, still thinking about the whole driving thing. Trying out different cars. Just, just, just for that. Honestly, that's what I'm doing. Right. Okay, I... We know how they're geared out. I should have come to see you a long no time ago, really shouldn't I? I am a terrible bunker. person. We'll be good. That op with Sham is our lucky We'll job. die in the end. Hey, Sham? I know. Whoa, Cutting I half of Night City's power to down an AV? That's how shit around here used to get now, look, done. Okay. 
Make sure we don't land in a pool. How are things done now? Conservatively. Everything's cold, calculated, less improvisation. <laughs> Sounds like you missed the good old days. Huh. If you went back in time and told me I'd be a fixer, I'd have laughed in your face. So what you're saying here is the city needs more explosions, basically. Okay. You're not as calm and calculated as you come across as, are you? There's a little bit of uh, recklessness in you. Pan Am deserves some... Actually, Pan Am pretty much deserves all the credit for the AV. She shot it with a rocket launcher. Pan Am deserves most of the credit. Wouldn't have happened without her. I know. That's why I recommended her to you. Is that all? Oh, right. right. That whole arguing and fighting, that's more a case of like fighting with like, isn't it? Um, I saw Adam Smasher. When did I see Adam Smasher? It's not since we've last... I saw him... When did I see him? Oh. I probably should have told you this before. I saw him, Rogue. Adam Smasher. Probably should have mentioned this. Saw him where? Here, in town. Yorinobu let him out of his cage when... when Hanako was kidnapped. Fuck. Could have seen that coming. Arasaka's now looking for unknown assailants. Again. What did they expect would happen? Our unknown assailants, huh? Uh... Good intentions, I don't... Um... Well, sounds like they ran out of options. Had to think quick. Improvise. Why am I not surprised? You know what I'd say to them, though? If die. I could talk to them face to face. Die, die, die? That sooner or later, they'll get what's coming to them. Night City isn't what it used to be. That includes Arasaka. And one of those unknown assailants isn't who he used to be, either. You'd think they'd understand. You're talking about Smasher. He's not what he used to be. Rogues also... What's that? Oh, uh, is that saying you're not what you used to be? That seems awfully rude and personal. No, uh, let's just go with probably. Who knows? Probably. I'm sure they had their reasons. And was it worth it in the end? For their sakes, I hope so. I gotta go, V. Still a lot of biz that needs conducting. Yeah. Look out for yourself. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Uh, I don't really have time to do any jobs. I need her help. Maybe... No, you know what? I, I don't think she's uh, going to be helping me because I do a few jobs stealing things or shutting down some place she doesn't want open. We've got way more important things to sort out, including contacting where Nancy, right, and Nancy, I mean, the uh, best, best, that does not look like a Nancy no. to me. This is her underpaid underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Want to talk to Bess? She's not here. Oh. Calling from Kevin, you're the guy in this. No, I'm not. Uh, um. You know when she'll be back? She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff. Story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. Maelstrom? If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. May that feeling, V. Think we better head to the Ton tent. Yeah, I hate to say this, but I have a feeling that you're right. 